every year there's a big story and that year it happened to be us. We all went into that game feeling pretty good, feeling pretty positive and knew that if we could give our best and maybe catch them on an off day that anything's possible. On a Jay, yes! What a leap and what a goal! It's the beauty of the cup, it's why everyone loves it so much because you get these stories every year. One moment this weekend could make another FA Cup cult hero. Ten years ago, when Barnsley faced Chelsea, it happened to Coyote Odejayi. We weren't really doing great in the league at the time, so it was probably a bit of a welcome distraction. Even before the Chelsea game, we, um, we had a couple of good results, including a win at Liverpool away, which was massive. You kind of think, we're beating Liverpool away at Anfield, surely you know, we're not going to go and beat Chelsea at home. A quarter-final tie here to save up, but Chelsea surely will be on their toes after Liverpool's demise. There was none bigger than sort of Chelsea at the time and, uh, you know, with all the names and superstars that they've got in their team and everyone was just really looking forward to the game. Obviously, you know, we've, we've got nothing to lose and we weren't expected to win. So it was just a free game for us in, in that sense. Odajay, the Nigerian who's playing up front then, hasn't scored since September. This wouldn't be a bad time to get your name on the score sheet again. You know, you've got to definitely go in with a positive frame of mind, you know, and dare to dream, as they say, dare to believe, because, you know, there's no point sort of going into the game with a defeatist attitude because you probably wouldn't really get get very far. This is where it happened. Um, Martin Devaney was, it's pretty deep cross, I think, from what I remember. Watched the flight of the ball as it came into the box and timed it well enough to uh, get up above the Kudicini and, you know, nod it down. What a leap and what a goal! Coyote Arajai has delivered here for Barnsley. I just ran into ran into the corner because uh, all my family were up here. I remember, um, I think Brian Howard jumped on my back. I think Jamal must have had a hold of my shirt at some point, and then you know all the boys just came in and it was a great moment. That's it. They have done it. First it's Anfield at Liverpool, now it's Chelsea at Oakwell. It's unbelievable stuff. The pitch invasion and trying to walk back and get through the tunnel. The, like, the fans were just everywhere and it was just a bit, a bit of mayhem, really. Barnsley's run was ended at the semi-final stage by Cardiff. But the strikers' FA Cup story hasn't finished. Amongst the players hoping to create FA Cup history, Odajai will line up for non-league Geisley at the age of 36. To still be playing at my age, you know, it's uh, definitely, definitely a blessing and to take each, take each season as it comes. And just up at Geisley now, part-time in the uh, Conference North, enjoying playing football. He's a fantastic character, Coyote. You know, he's great around with the restroom. We've got a real young group and, you know, he lends his experience to them. And, you know, Coyote's a real, real inspiration for these young lads. Next up, it's Fleetwood. Reward for an incredible first round win over Cambridge that Odajai won't forget in a hurry. We were 4 0 up, and then I came on. Probably in hindsight, it might have been better if they left me on the bench. It would have uh, maybe not been as uh, scary. That could have been the end of his career, right there, right there. <laughs> that was the drama, you know, and that's what the FA Cup brings. Well, for all of us, it was a case of, you know, what's just happened there, what can we learn from, and we all take, we all take accountability in terms of why didn't we see the game out 4-1, 4-2. Diagonal, back to where you are, please, God, please. Fleetwood are a good team and, you know, another league above from Cambridge, but like they keep saying, it's the beauty of the cup and anything can happen. Hopefully, maybe Fleetwood might not quite be at the races. Eight years ago, we played Fleetwood in the playoff final at Conference North level, so you just shows in eight years how far they've come. So I think they are an inspiration to everybody in non-league football. Facing league opposition is going to be a great platform for, to, for our young players to showcase their ability and put themselves in the shot window. And for one or two players, like you mentioned, Coyote, it's an opportunity to create more memories like he did for Barnsley. It just seems to have flown by. Um, but, you know, that's, uh, that's how it goes sometimes. And hopefully, you know, there'll be a few more stories for us and, you know, we'll be talking about that again in another 10 years to come. Two years ago, Lincoln City wrote themselves into history as the first non-league club to reach the last eight in more than a century. 
three games away. Lincoln City from the National League are through to the last eight. When it happened, it happened so quickly and it was such a roller coaster that you didn't really have a chance to appreciate it or understand it. It was kind of just like winning the football lottery. I think you're trying to use the momentum that you generated through that period and we want to use this as something that we can now, you know, build towards the future. Arsenal beat Lincoln in that quarter-final, but the cup run has transformed the club. Welcome to our new Elite Performance Centre, our new training ground. It's been a long time coming, but we're, we're delighted now to, to be in the building and we've been out and seen a lot of different training grounds over the last couple of years and tried to take the, the best bits from, from everyone and make something that we felt that would work for us. Wow. It makes a huge difference to our environment uh, that we try and create for the players. Last season we were working at the stadium and then we were travelling out to a local school or an army barracks to train and now that we're inside the Elite Performance Centre we'll be able to do all of our training sessions here. We've got gymnasium as well now we can use to do all of our off-grass off work and then three fantastic football pitches where we can work on our patterns of play and, and try to improve the team. Very much. I'm very excited. I think you can see by the quality of the, the place, it's really nice. And to have something, remember the FA Cup run is, is, is really good as well. I think it'll sell other players wanting to come here. I think it's a massive positive that we've got an unbelievable training facility all in one place. Well, the run that Lincoln went on, that fabulous run to the quarterfinals uh, two years ago, netted them about 1.3 million in prize money and TV money and it's a credit to the board of directors that rather than spend it on a couple of players or whatever they've actually invested it in the infrastructure which will be fabulous for them. I think for us it, it, it's not just the fact that this is a state-of-the-art training ground it's the journey that it, it's come on and where we've actually come from. The one thing the FA Cup has done is, is, is galvanised the city uh, and the county and the, and the people of Lincolnshire behind the football club. What we're ultimately doing is, is together, we're hopefully getting this, this football club reinvigorated and, and it's on a great pathway. When we first arrived, I remember watching a soccer school just literally outside our stadium and there's about 50, 60 children there and there was only one Lincoln City kit and we said at the time that we, need, we needed to affect that and we needed to make it cool to, to support Lincoln City and I think the cup run and the success that we had has made it cool to support Lincoln. And now League Two Lincoln and the Cowleys are on the FA Cup trail again, hosting Carlisle after Bruno Andrade's injury time winner saw off Northampton in round one. I think it shows you how special the FA Cup is and, and what can happen um, because maybe that's why everyone loves football as well. It's, it's not always possible to read and these sort of stories are, are, are possible if a group of people work really hard together and, and align themselves. I can remember that, that fantastic old boy, Ronnie Radford, and also some of the other brilliant underdog stories that now live on as, as great FA Cup memories and thought that maybe we're, we'll be one of them is, is pretty special. I think now that the FA as well have increased the prize fund, it will, um, it will definitely keep clubs like ourselves very interested in the competition and if you can get success and, and get to the, the latter rounds then, you know, it can really change your, your club's uh, future.